Hello, thanks for the invite here. A couple of poems. Starting off with a poem from this book, Walking Between Worlds. Two references in it. The Glen of Weeping is what Glencoe is sometimes known as because of the massacre. And the Three Sisters are a range of mountains in Glencoe. So this poem's titled Taking Selfies in the Glen of Weeping. In the car park, the three sisters look on as yet another tour bus disembarks. If the tourists were to look at the view, they'd notice the mountain, peaks shrouded by swirling mist and slumbering cloud, that part in a whim to reveal stray patches of blue as if interlopers on this most Scottish of palettes. They'd see peat hags and scattered lochens and tumbling waters, and if they really paid attention, perhaps a herd of red deer in amongst the cliched purple heather. However, these tourists see little in their quest for a perfect selfie with phone cameras pointing at themselves. They perform well-rehearsed celebrity poses, doing silly knee bends, giving the peace sign like they know what it means, donning masks of phony smiles, wearing skinny jeans full of designer holes and white sneakers with no socks. And bringing things up to date, this poem's called Tig Your Head. And I wrote it after going through Kelvin Grove Park, which is just round the corner from my own sweet park, so to speak. Tig Your Head. Walking through the park, furtively like a foreign agent, I try to dodge detection, avoiding the dog walkers, the joggers, the meandering cyclists, as if a participant in the computer game, Tig Your Head, and the challenge is to stay away from all human obstacles. My get out of jail card would be shouting, Keys, I'm no playing, sticking my thumbs in the air. Then for a moment I'd savour the serenity of the Kelvin burbling and unseen birds twittering, and feel the warmth of the sun dappling in the back of my neck. Instead, I clock oncoming parents out for a stroll, with kids on scooters and bikes, who will perhaps make me hit, with their innocuous invisible droplets that may be lurking in the afternoon air. Thank you.